Learn from God to enlighten your soul. This is your daily devotional reading. Our Father Cares, April 9th How to Maintain Integrity Likewise, reckon ye also yourselves to be dead indeed unto sin, but alive unto God through Jesus Christ our Lord. Let not sin therefore reign in your mortal body, that ye should obey it in the lust thereof. Romans 6 verses 11 and 12 Some regard sin as altogether so light a matter that they have no defense against its indulgence or its consequence. If you suppose for a moment that God would treat sin lightly, or make provisions or exemptions so that you can go on in committing sin and the soul suffer no penalty from so doing, you are under a terrible delusion of Satan. Any willful violation of the righteous law of Jehovah exposes your soul to the full assaults of Satan. When you lose your conscious integrity, your soul becomes a battlefield for Satan You have doubts and fears enough to paralyze your energies and drive you to discouragement. Remember that temptation is not sin. Remember that however trying the circumstances in which a man may be placed, nothing can really weaken his soul so long as he does not yield to temptation but maintains his own integrity. The interests most vital to you individually are in your own keeping. No one can damage them without your consent. All satanic legions cannot injure you unless you open your soul to the arts and arrows of Satan. Your ruin can never take place until your will consents. If there is not pollution of mind in yourself, All the surrounding pollution cannot taint or defile you. Eternal life is worth everything to us or it is worth nothing. Those only who put forth persevering effort and untiring zeal with intense desire proportionate to the value of the object they are in pursuit of will gain that life which measures with the life of God. We have the example of Adam and Eve before us and the result of their transgression should lead every soul of us to abhor sin as the hateful thing it is and to feel, in view of the sufferings which sin is sure to inflict, that it is better to suffer loss of all things than to depart from the least of God's commandments. Our Father cares. April 9th.